everybody welcome back my channel youtube health fitness one out for seven uh, today we wish on of you a nice day and happiness and then here is the official news follow me One Canelo Alvarez vs Edgar Berlanga live results and analysis. Canelo Alvarez will defend his WBC, WBO, and WBA super middleweight titles against Edgar Berlanga on Saturday at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Alvarez, with a record of the 2nd of February, 61 and 39 KOs was previously the undisputed champion at 168 pounds but lost the IBF title after choosing to fight Berlanga instead of the mandatory challenger. At 34, Alvarez is on a four-fight winning streak. All by unanimous decision, following a loss to Dimitri Bival in May 2022. He expressed excitement for the matchup, anticipating a competitive fight. Berlanga, undefeated at 22-0 with 17 KOs, is ranked number 5 in the super middleweight division. 2. Kentucky leads number 1 Georgia 6-3 at the half Kentucky is currently leading number 1 Georgia 3-0, thanks to a 55-yard field goal by Alex Rayner. During the break between the first and second quarters, former Kentucky football star Tim Couch was honored on the field. Couch, who will be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame this December, is recognized for his impressive high school and college career, where he set numerous records and won National Player of the Year in 1995. After a challenging freshman year, he excelled in the air raid offense, breaking multiple NCAA, SEC, and school records. 3. Prelim Results, UFC 306, O'Malley vs. DVALISHVILI Norma Dumont delivered an impressive performance at Noche UFC, winning by unanimous decision against Irene Aldana. Dumont started strong, quickly gaining an early lead, while Aldana, who faced a head clash, increased her pressure in the later rounds. Despite Aldana's efforts, Dumont continued to land effective shots. This victory marks Dumont's fifth consecutive win, improving her record to 8-2 in the UFC. With this win over a former champion and title challenger, she is expected to rise into the top five in the upcoming rankings. 4. Expert Picks and Best Bets for UFC 306 and Bellator Champions Series UFC Bantamweight Champion Sean O'Malley will defend his title against Marab Davalishvili in the main event at UFC 306 on Saturday. Night. O'Malley, ranked number 4 in ESPN's Pound for Pound rankings, is coming off a unanimous decision victory over Marlon Vera in his first title defense. Davalishvili, ranked number 2 in bantamweight, is on a 10-fight winning streak and has not lost since April 2018. The co-main event features women's flyweight champion Alexa Grasso defending her title against former champion Valentina Shevchenko in a trilogy bout. Grasso won the title from Shevchenko in March 2023 and retained it in a rematch that ended in a split draw. Additionally, Bellator is hosting its second back-to-back -back event on the same night. 5. UFC 306 Predictions, Sean O'Malley vs. Marab Davalishvili. Fight Card, Odds, Expert Picks, Preview, Prelims UFC 306, also known as Noche UFC, marks the promotion's debut at the Sphere in Las Vegas. Coinciding with Mexican Independence Day weekend, the event features two title fights, bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley faces top contender Marab Davalishvili. 
While women's flyweight champion Alexa Grasso defends her title against Valentina Shevchenko in a highly anticipated rematch, Grasso leads their series 1-0-1 after their last encounter ended in a controversial split draw. The event promises to be a visual spectacle with a mix of cultural elements. Six. UFC 306 Predictions, Best Bets, Odds, Sean O'Malley, Diego Lopez among top picks to consider this weekend UFC 306, taking place this Saturday at the Sphere in Las Vegas, is generating significant buzz not only for its fight card but also for the venue's impressive technology and tribute to Mexican fighters during Noche UFC. The event features two championship bouts. Sean O'Malley defending his bantamweight title against Marab Davalishvili in the main event. And a trilogy fight between women's flyweight champion Alexa Grasso and former champion Valentina Shevchenko as the co-main event. Davalishvili has expressed his intention to make the fight exciting. Criticizing O'Malley's tendency to avoid engagement in the ring. 7. Marab Davalishvili says, boring, Sean O'Malley will run from him in main event of UFC 306 Sean O'Malley ranks fourth in UFC history for strikes landed per minute, 7.67. While Marab Davalishvili is third for most takedowns, 79. Despite O'Malley's reputation for entertaining fights, Davalishvili believes it's his duty to create an exciting matchup at UFC 306. This title shot comes after a delay caused by Davalishvili's friendship with former champion Aljamain Sterling. O'Malley's knockout of Sterling at UFC 292 opened the path for Davalishvili to pursue the title and seek revenge. Davalishvili's grappling heavy style contrasts with O'Malley's striking approach 8. Michael Chandler moves on. For now, from Conor McGregor fight, sets date with Charles Oliveira for UFC 309 Michael Chandler is moving on from a potential fight with Conor McGregor, which has been in the works for 17 months. UFC CEO Dana White announced that Chandler will instead face Charles Oliveira in a rematch at UFC 309 on November 16 at Madison Square Garden. White mentioned that Chandler expressed a desire to fight rather than wait any longer. McGregor reacted to the news with a profanity-laden response, accusing Chandler of backing out after seeing McGregor's training footage. The matchup between McGregor and Chandler was initially suggested after they were named rival coaches on a reality show. 9. Oscar De La Hoya announces plans to attend UFC 306 rather than Canelo Alvarez fight. Dana White responds Dana White and Oscar De La Hoya have a long-standing rivalry. With White often expressing strong disdain for the former boxer and current promoter. Recently, De La Hoya surprised many by announcing he would attend UFC 306 in Las Vegas instead of Canelo Alvarez's boxing match on the same night. He referred to the UFC event as something everyone would be watching, dismissing the boxing match as another lame Canelo fight. When asked about De La Hoya's attendance, White speculated that he might be attending as a guest of Turkey Alashik, the Saudi Arabian Entertainment Authority chairman sponsoring UFC 306, and clarified that De La Hoya was not getting tickets from him.